and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. So today is Spiritual Book Club September. Yes, I'm still in summer tops. I am loving this weather. I am staying in summer tops as long as possible. So yes, I wanted to show you what books I have been loving throughout August slash September, what I've been reading and what I plan to read throughout September and the beginning of October. So as per usual, Emma didn't read half of what she intended to read like throughout August and September because I signed my book deal because I had so much work to do on another project as well I just haven't had time to sit down and read and because the weather hasn't been as glorious here in the UK um, as it has been over the summer obviously I haven't wanted to go out and read as much so yeah I just haven't really had like massive amount of time to read which makes me really sad obviously um but I've tried to like cram in as much as I can and really take that time to dedicate some reading time so I can chill and relax as well so I've nearly completed the goddess wisdom book which I showed you guys last month I've literally got about 30 pages left I think so this is the book by Tanishka um and it's all about connecting to the power of the sacred feminine through ancient teachings and practices so a really different book for me to pick up but I have absolutely loved it like learning all the history and the kind of cultures behind goddesses, women, the divine feminine, oh this book has been epic so it just really gives you like a breakdown it's not just tools I guess on how to embrace it, it's like the whole history, the backstory, um, how we can embrace it, different rituals, tools, techniques um just really really good so if you've been called to be doing like divine feminine work at the moment or womb work or anything like that to kind of help with um healing your wounds or stepping into your goddess power like this book is freaking powerful so i'm so glad i picked it up oh i was definitely meant to find it and i can't wait to read the last few pages because i'm sure even then i'll be learning even more stuff which will be really valuable but yeah i've really really enjoyed um this book definitely um and yeah I've been embracing my goddessness so also this month I have been going back to the magic um so the magic is a book which obviously you guys have heard me talk about since the beginning of time since the freaking beginning of time so um yeah this month I wanted to incorporate the magic practices again boost my vibration a bit get myself back into a happier state and like manifesting some cool stuff so yeah I went back to the magic this month so I've been doing that daily practice each day it has really helped me as it always does like realign get focused start manifesting some cool stuff like really be conscious about my law of attraction journey and just focus on stuff as well as like the craziness of work and the craziness of what's going on it's been good to kind of ground myself in those practices um lift my mood lift my vibration um and yeah just help out with all aspects of my life like health relationships like loads of stuff like the magic is such a good all-round book for helping with every situation in your life so yes if you haven't read the magic where have you been this is my number one recommendation of all time um but yes i have been reading that again this month and doing those practices also this month again been turning back to my racial vibration book by kyle gray this book has literally been read a million times hence all of the little like turned pages um so I do do this regularly, but again, I've come back to it. So I've started the 111 days again. I'm about 20 days in by now. Um, I just love this book so much. It's got some really good affirmations and little practices you can do each day. They're really simple, really quick. It doesn't take up too much of your day. Um, and I always just find this really helps to accompany the magic. This always just really helps to lift me um, and to just connect with my angels again. And yeah, I just freaking love this book the magic and this is definitely my number two all-time books which everybody should own in their spiritual bookshelf um so yeah I just wanted to like include these again I know you guys know I do these books but for those who haven't seen them and obviously I'm documenting what I have read the last month um it's obviously been these two books once again so moving on to what I plan to read in the next month which I'm praying I get to actually read um and complete otherwise these videos are gonna get really boring if I'm not actually reading anything. So um, I picked up a new memory 
Marianne Williamson book off Amazon. Um, basically, I've been really loving Marianne's work. As you know, A Return to Love has been like a game changer for me. So I was like, I think it's time to read something else, Marianne. So I felt drawn to this one, but for all the wrong reasons. So when I was looking on Amazon, the book is called The Law of Divine Compensation. Now to me, this sounded a bit like karma or like how the universe compensates you or how the whole, do you know what I mean? Like the laws of compensation, like that to me sounded more about like karma, um, how the universe works, um, you know, what you put out, you get back, that sort of thing. So I was like, okay, like this sounds good. But then when I've actually started reading it, I've read about 20 pages so far. It's work, money and miracles. So it's more about actually manifesting work and money. So I'm hoping, I mean, there's obviously a reason why I've got this book, let's be real. The universe did not trick me into buying this for no reason. There's obviously something in there which I need to read. So I'm hoping as I kind of go along that it is gonna kind of be what I kind of hoped the book would be. But yeah, I think this book is actually mainly just a general law of attraction book. I generally think it is more about like manifesting, abundance, miracles. We will see how it evolves throughout the book, but I'm hoping there is some, well, I'm sure it's Marianne. There will be loads of really good advice in there, which is really useful. Um, and I'm sure, and also like I've read, like I said, I read the first 20 pages already. And within those 20 pages, it reminded me of so much stuff I'd forgotten from a return to love. So I was like, oh yeah so even if this is just a massive reminder of all the principles of A Course in Miracles and A Return to Love then obviously I meant to read it but yes really looking forward to reading this this month um and it's not a too big a book as well I think it's about 200 pages yeah 180 pages so I definitely should get this <laughs> this read this month. So there are all the books that I have been reading this month and plan to read next month. Um, as always, please let me know your book recommendations in the comments down below because obviously that really helps me decide what I want to read. Um, and obviously if you guys have read any of the books that I've picked up, it would be great to hear your thoughts and what you thought on them too. But yes, I hope you're all enjoying the books that you're reading this month. And I hope that maybe you found some new titles that you can obviously go and explore yourself. So thank you so much, guys for watching this video I appreciate all your views and likes don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love love to see you again soon don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all and I will see you in my next video which will be next week lots of love guys